Okay. Now, the topic today is it is called positron emission tomography. Now, this is called PET. So first of all, it is a diagnostic tool of modern medicine. Now, यहां पर हम लिखेंगे हम यूजेस ऑफ पी टी नंबर वन इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड डायग्नोस्टिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन डायग्नोस्टिक एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कैंसर्स इधर वन करके बल्कि इसमें से ऑफ वन कैंसर हार्ट डिजीजेस गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल disorders or brain function now the difference between pet and ct scan or ultrasound is that pt looks at a patient from inside whereas ct scan or ultrasound looks at patients from outside all right my bachcho all right now in pet answer what's the third point g sorry um uh, what's the third point third gastro intestinal disorders okay related to your stomach and intestines got it Yes, Should I go for mm. in PET a small amount of tracer mm. 
usually referred as radio tracer is injected into a vein it travels round the body and it is absorbed by organs and tissues the radiation from the tracer is used to produce the image is it clear with you if you got any questions please you know so please hold on a bit All right. No. I'm um, sorry. Yes. Um. Can you read the first line and the second point? In PET, a small amount of tracer, usually referred as radio tracer, is injected into a vein. Oh, thank you. Now, what are radio tracers number 1 please remember there are several different radio tracers used in pet for example glucose based molecule on to which a radioactive nucleide flow green 18 okay is attached this substance is called fluoro sorry Fluoro D oxy glucose. Okay. Unfortunately, I sound like Sanuman. All right. The fluorine. Eighteen nucleide decays by emitting a beta positive particle. If 
if you don't remember. 